Okay, so I had a subscriber of mine recently comment on a video and he asked me if I could make a video um, updating him or anyone on the new Jeepers Creepers film and if there is any news about the Jeepers Creepers film and uh, I got all the information I possibly could and threw it into this video. So, to start it off, um, with Jeepers Creepers 2, we know it ended off with Jeepers Creepers dead in the barn, or not even dead, uh, he went back into his hibernation uh, stage and we kind of assumed that with the third film it would pick up right off the, the end of the second film, right? It seems like that's what they would do. Uh, but they didn't. They obviously they went back to the first film and they picked up at the end of the first film and ended off at the second film. Now, uh, see that's not like a terrible idea at first. Like on paper, that sounds kind of cool. But it, also that means if you're going to do a sequel to the first film a second time, why not get Gina Phillips to play a huge part in in, in, the, in the film, which they should have done and they originally wanted to do. Um, now they didn't, of course. We know they didn't involve Gina Phillips until. Uh, the last few seconds of the film and they used her as like a cliffhanger for the next one But it made no sense. It didn't make a lot of sense to me and I'm gonna say this now um, I do not expect a Jeepers Creepers 4 for a long time. I'm gonna be honest uh, There's many reasons and I'll cover them all in the video, but and I'm also gonna get into what the creeper had to say about the fourth film Yeah, if we're lucky enough to have it happen. I don't know that there's a script written yet for four I know we had a script for a long time for Tree, and you're probably familiar with the name Cathedral. Cathedral got broken down into a TV series, so he rewrote Tree to be what you're going to see on screen on Tuesday night, which was of course when um, uh, the third film was released. But he still has Cathedral, which is written out into the first season of a TV show, and it's amazing. So that's already written and ready to go, and there's also a good possibility that TV will be spawned from this movie. But beyond that, he's already working on the script for 4, and that's really going to get interesting because we have to go to a whole new direction and deal with a whole new 23 days, right? So we're either going to go forward, or we're going to go back, or we're going to go to in some combination of both. Now, it's not uncommon for like a horror movie franchise to go into uh, TV. It seems to be more common recently. We've seen Scream do it. Uh, now Child's Play is doing it. And it looks like Halloween is going to be doing it too. So honestly, I don't know. A Jeepers Creepers TV show could be kind of interesting. I'm not going to talk too much about it right now because I feel like the fourth film is what we're kind of like most excited for. Now with the article I was reading, um, it stated that a friend of, of the of the author uh, met with Victor Salva over the summer and was told that in fact Jeepers Creepers 4 was happening and would start off in the barn that was the end of Jeepers Creepers 2 back in 2003. And that sounds kind of cool because that means we could possibly see a return from Jack Taggart and Gina Phillips. Or Trish Jenner I guess we're going to use, if we're going to use Jack Taggart's um, you know in film name I, I should use Trish Jenner for Gina Phillips too. But yeah, we kind of figured, like I said, that that would kind of be what the third one was about, but for whatever reason, the idea was scrapped. Now, I also want to mention there's a Jeepers Creepers Facebook page, and it's under control and ran by people who were involved uh, with the third film. And supposedly, one of the members knows Victor Sal Salva personally, and um, he said that, that Victor Salva was more interested in a TV series rather than the fourth film, but claims that the fourth film will be made. Now he also went on to say that Victor Salva, uh, the reason Victor Salva didn't want the third film to be the origin of the, of the Creeper was because Victor Salva knew um, that the third film would be the lowest budget film in the entire franchise and didn't want the story of the Creeper to be such a low film. Damn, I can't speak, I'm too sick man. I hate this so much. Um, but yeah, he knew that the, the third film would be the lowest budget for uh, any of the films and didn't want to end off with the most important um, piece to the puzzle without really being able to afford uh, a big production because I'm sure they want to go kind of all out, uh, go big or go home for the last film and that makes a lot of sense to me, you know, it really does. And I feel like most people are kind of familiar with Victor Salva's criminal past at this point. I'm not going to mention it in the video but for people who do know, um, that's why the last film was boycotted uh, or boycott and, um, you know, more than likely if they make a fourth film that will also be boycott too. And it's sad because they probably won't have the potential to make the fourth film with a high budget like the first two films because of, of um, social media and how much uh, shit they're going to get for it. Now I'm not saying it's justified or not justified, I'm just saying it's more than likely a possibility that if the fourth film goes into production, they will have the same problems they had with the third film. 
Now, of course, it goes back to, of course, the, the budget, but the CGI in Jeepers Creepers 3 was horrendous, man. It was terrible. I, I didn't like it at all, and I feel like uh, the fourth film could possibly be quite the same. Uh, and in my opinion, if, if they're going to make the fourth film and can't afford to make it like the same uh, first two films, like with a, a good budget and make it look scary and creepy, they probably shouldn't make it because there's really no point. So all in all, what can we really take from the video? Like I said, there's not too much news uh, to really talk about, but it's possible that if they do make the fourth film, once they make that, they're going to release a TV show. And it's kind of interesting though, because I would like to see a TV show that takes place in, in, in Poho County and uh, how, you know, other people have to deal with the creeper other than like Darry, Trish, um, I don't know the names of the, the college foot basketball players in the second film uh, or football. I don't know what the fuck sport they play. I think it's basketball. But I, I don't know what their names are, uh, but I would like to see how other people deal with the creeper. We know Giselle was a big part of the first film, even though she wasn't in it for too long. Uh, she was very important because she knew. What the creeper was really like i think it would be kind of interesting to see a character like giselle or even giselle in general to come back but um yeah it's it's interesting i think uh, if, if jonathan breck's statements are true and the tv show will go ahead and it's already written uh, i don't know if they'll release a movie first or a tv show first it's really uh it's not up to me i guess but um at the end of the day we will see a jeepers creepers tv show or movie come out in the next few years uh I don't know man, it's it's hard to, to predict this stuff because we went so many years without Jeepers Creepers 3 and it turned out to be the opposite of what we actually wanted to see or expected to see. So if, if, you, if you're asking for my personal opinion of what we could see with the next film, um, I'll be honest, I'll give it to you straight. I do not think we're going to get Jeepers Creepers 4 for a long time and if we do, chances of it being uh, a high budget film will be very low. As in Hollywood, there's a lot going on right now. And uh, for Jeepers Creepers 3, the main reason why people didn't want to see it was because of Victor Sava's past. And with what's going on in Hollywood today, the current Hollywood status, it's not going to go down well unless they give the rights to a different director. And if they do, there's no telling if Jonathan Breck will uh, continue playing the Creeper for somebody else's film because we know Jonathan Breck and Victor Sava have a very good relationship. So if Victor Sava has to say goodbye to the creeper then we might not see the same person play him uh, i'm gonna end the video off here i don't know what to say we have no idea when the movie might come out we have no idea when the tv show could come out all we know is that um victor salva said the fort one's happening he said the tv show is happening uh jonathan breck says he's as far as he's aware it's happening so i don't know will we re will we see gina phillips return will we not i have no fucking clue uh anyway i'm gonna end the video off here i hope you enjoyed uh, you can go to the description of the video and see my other Jeepers Creepers videos too. If you're interested, there'll be in like an, one of those pop-ups at the end of the video too, where you can just like click on the other videos. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to end it off here. Uh, thanks for watching, man. Whew, I'm so sick and that was so hard to do. That was crazy. Oh my.